They are an original design manufacturer, an ODM. That's kind of, that's a word I just learned today, meaning they build the guts for other big names in the industry. Get this, they've produced over 20 million robot vacuums to date. I had no idea about that. That's huge. And they were already iRobot's main manufacturer and a sec secured lender. So they know the product inside and out. The plan is for Picea to acquire 100% of iRobot's equity. Again, I think they had some loans and Picea bought the loans and so they basically own the company now. Um, iRobot's current stock will get wiped out. Again, I'm not a business major. I don't know necessarily about it. I know iRobot was a publicly traded company and I guess now those, st those stocks are not worth anything. And it's going to be a pub, it's going to be a private company now or something. Um, but it's going to be operating. The goal is to stabilize the brand, inject some cash, and hopefully bring the the Roomba back to up to speed with the competition. That's going to be a tall order because the companies like Dream, Roborock, and and Mova, and EUFI, and and Narwhal, these companies are making very advanced robot vacuum cleaners. Now, what does this mean for you and the future? So the big question: What does this mean for Roomba, for your Roomba that you have at home? or the one that you were planning to buy. In short term, probably not much. The company will continue operating through chap through the Chapter 11 process. The brand isn't disappearing. The big change might come in a few years down the line. When, when Picea taking over, they bring manufacturing and supply chain expertise.